Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the view 3. Today we are going to learn how to add the date picker in the view 3. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we have the date picker. Let me remove our tailwind configurations. Might be they are conflicting. Let's check this one. And let's have a look. Is it working or not? Okay, here you can see that. Now the date picker is coming. Here you can see. Standard time. Okay, so this is how you can select that one. Okay, so very simple basic setup I have done. Let's have a look. So here we have app.view, <coughs> right? So here we have to just go with our select date, view three date picker, view model, selected date format. That is a date format, okay? Then selected date will come over here. Then we have to import the view 3 date picker and the reference from the view. Okay, define a select date reactive variable. So reference to the null by default, then date format would be yymmdd. Okay, and then any style you have, you can just add it over here. Let's enhance this functionality more. View 3 date picker has many options to customize the appearance and the behavior. Place folder, you can add date format, disable dates, which dates you want to disable, minimum and the maximum. Okay, so let's add this over there, minimum and max date. So let's me copy this whole one and add it and check. So here we go with this one and here you can see, choose the selected date and everything, pick a date range and everything, right? So this is how you can do that one. Okay, so date format, new date, today's date and which date, the maximum date which date you want to exclude everything you can set up in these options okay so this is how you can add the date picker into your view 3 project any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day you can also use the date range selection also so this is select date range okay start and the end also you can add so I just copy this and let's see the date range is coming or not just add this code over here and let's save this and here we go with this select the date range start date and the end I think there is something <coughs> missing so the date range part I will explain in the later on video with the view 3 any doubt any query in that do let me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day